Okay, so we just got a call for a patient in the emergency room with trigeminal neuralgia, and Dr. McLaughlin's going to go over his thoughts on our walk to the ER. So this is by report from the emergency room physician. This is a um, patient with a new onset of trigeminal neuralgia, uh, which is sharp stabbing electric shock like pain, which is excruciating and um, uh, comes and goes. So it's exacerbating and remitting. And uh, this person has never had it before. So we're going to uh, go in and take a look at them, uh, make sure they've had at least a CT scan. They may not have had an MRI scan in the uh, hospital right now. They'll ultimately need an MRI scan uh, to look for a blood vessel at the base of the brain. So we need a, a Fiesta study MRI scan, which is a, with and without contrast MRI scan to look for blood vessels around the base of the brain near the trigeminal nerve. And um, if it's really a good story and classic uh, symptoms, we'll probably start them on a medication. Tegretol is usually a, a great one to start with. It's both diagnostic and therapeutic. It not only will quell the pain, but it also will give us a good indication that this is that this is trigeminal neuralgia. So I probably start them with Tegretol. Important to remember to check baseline blood work because Tegretol can cause a, a thrombocytopenia and it can elevate liver function tests. So we want to get them as a baseline. All right. So we saw this patient and they have um, pain in the V3 distribution. The you know, trigeminal nerve is a three-branched nerve, so it supplies sensation to the forehead, the cheek, and the jaw. Typically, the pain is in the cheek or the jaw, sometimes a little more rarely in the eye or the forehead. So uh, they have V3 trigeminal neuralgia. It's new onset. It came on suddenly, awakened them from sleep. Worst pain of their life. Um, they have no abnormalities on their oropharyngeal exam. Uh, they have typical triggers, which is very common with trigeminal neuralgia. That means light touch or wind triggers the pain, but a deeper touch or a more vigorous stimulation doesn't have any effect on it. So that's very typical of trigeminal neuralgia. So they have those symptoms. Um, it's typically caused by a blood vessel compressing the trigeminal nerve at the dorsal root entry zone, which is the junction where the brain uh, stem goes out to the, the area where the nerve forms a ganglion. The ganglion is like a, a mini brain in the nerve and it sits inside the skull. So there's a little, little branch between, a little division, which is called the dorsal root entry zone, and that's where they're susceptible to compression and irritation.